Let's talk about the rain chances yes. because they are there in the forecast. We do have to deal with that over the next, there's Daily Plaza right there. Is Ferris out there? Say Ferris, say Ferris. Uh, you will see a few rain showers overnight. Not everyone, but it's possible, certainly possible as we get into uh, the early morning that someone will have received some rain. There's the larger picture, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier. We still have this kind of wraparound uh, moisture that's trying to move in behind this. It was activated by some of the heating of the day earlier. I think it's going to quiet down now that things have stabilized quite a bit, but we still have that to deal with uh, for tomorrow. So I do think rain is going to stay at least in the first half of the forecast for tomorrow. In the meantime, we move this out of here and we do have just a couple of light showers overnight. Here's what moved by. Now this is a bit of good news because it was a good soaking rain for many locations. In fact, some of the rainfall totals have been pretty impressive, especially west of Chicago, where some of the numbers have been in the three to five inch range. I like to see the rain. I don't like to see it come down too heavily all at once, but certainly uh, rain is going to be beneficial. We'd like to see a little bit of that move to the east, but a lot of it dried up as it moved by 60s and 70s. That's that's where we sit currently. Now we're probably going to drop another maybe three to five degrees off of this. I do think most of the city will drop into the 60s. Some areas are already into the mid 60s. I think you could see a couple of areas if we clear out overnight, get rid of some of the clouds that may drop into the uh, upper 50s. Here's how it looks on future clouds and radar. We'll see some of the clouds try to move out of here, but a couple of light showers still possible overnight. A rumble of thunder couldn't be ruled out and even into early morning tomorrow. But what we're going to be tracking is a little bit of a north wind kicking in. That's going to come right off of the lake. It should help to stabilize things. And at some point, I'm hoping it will help to scour out any of the showers. And while they may be there through about midday, by the time we get into the afternoon, we're really hoping to see some clearing and breaking into some sunshine. We saw a little bit of that earlier in the day today. I think we'll see that possibility as we look to tomorrow and then we clear things out in the next couple of days look pretty good. There's that chance for rain sometime mid to late morning by the afternoon. I'm hoping we're OK. We'll watch the radar for the air show tomorrow, but I think it's the early part of the day that we have to watch more so than afternoon and then it's clearing and then the temperatures warm up. The sun angle is still pretty strong this time of year, so I think 80 for Monday is what we're expecting. We'll do 81 for Tuesday, 82 for Wednesday. We go to 84 by Thursday and by the weekend. We're still in the 80s, but we start to introduce some rain chances. All right, we're looking good though, Rob. Thank you.